Hey, Mike, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Everybody listening, uh, welcome to another episode of Run Deck Tips. Mike, what have you got for us today? Well, I spent a lot of time as a Windows administrator, and I'm going to show you some diagnostic jobs here that you can run for Windows. First one is uh, a plug-in for Windows System Info. A second one I'll show is showing the top five CPU hogs on Windows. And then third is showing the drive space and possibly even cleaning out log files or other files you don't want. Right. Now, so the point here might be that, you know, as an expert crack Windows admin, you might already know how to do these things in your head, but by putting them in your runbook automation, it makes it number one easier for you to get to at your, you know, at your fingertips. Do it the same way every time. But also this way you can hand it off to other folks, right? Make it more uh, democratized. Yeah, it brings it all centrally. And uh, I'm going to show you the Windows info first. I'm going to click on this job. It's running against two nodes. You can have it run against two or you know 200, doesn't matter. And uh, run now. And this will show in, in log output format, things like uh, what version of Windows you have, what the uptime is, the total memory, important one, storage space and, and free space, as well as the actual license key of Windows and the IP address and all of the installed software. In a minute here, I'll show you what's behind the scenes, but this is uh, some of the info you can show. So I'm gonna edit this job and go into the workflow tab and just click on this plugin. So this plugin has checkboxes if you don't want to show all this info. And here's that filter I was talking about where you can type in, let's say just Microsoft or just Google software or any sort of combination filter there if you want. So that's the first one. Now I'm going to show you another one. And it's down here in this uh, demo area the top five CPU hogs. So this one's useful if you run Zen app or terminal server and you know, remote desktop server or just any server uh, that might get overloaded in terms of CPU. And it's a plugin that runs a PowerShell script and it's convenient because if it's not over the threshold, it won't bother getting the details. So why bother bogging down the server here? But this one is set to a threshold of 15%. So it's getting everything, all the top five here. So you can see admin Mike is running a CPU stress utility and it's using 14%. So this is important because you can simply uh, kill a job or uh, reboot the server if necessary. Whatever you want to do here, this is automatically can gather this information. You, what you don't want is five different people logging in, trying to look at this information. It's all centralized and uh, democratized, as you said. Now, when you're saying these are plugins, I know these are plugins that you've actually created for the Rundeck community. What goes into a plugin? Say someone's got their own routines, their own health checks, their own diagnostics, things they want to check and put in other people's fingertips. What goes into that? Well, first you write your PowerShell script as you normally would, and then you basically zip it up into a, a package, which is a, a plugin. And it just makes it easier when you're distributing jobs and want to help your coworkers build jobs. They don't need to know all of the details of scripting. They can just select a few options and, and it, it'll be useful to them. Great. So this one finds space on a drive if it's full, only if it's full, or whatever your threshold you set as. And you can see this cleared out according to some rules I'll show you in a minute, a bunch of a few log files and a few temp files. So let's take a look at what the settings on this is. And again, we go to edit the job and the workflow and click on the plugin. So I've set my threshold at 22%. So it's only going to try to do clearing off of drive if it over 22%. And here's where you put in the rules. So here I'm looking for star.temp, uh, star.log in these directories, even recursive. If you don't want to delete it, you can just scan it and have it fail and know when your drive is getting close to being filled up. So in a sense, this is a little bit of a monitoring and cleanup all wrapped up into one. That's what I was going to show you today. Yeah, so I think um, the design pattern I'm picking up here is you got all sorts of utilities. Some maybe come out of the box. Some are maybe custom scripts that you've written. You're showing here is you can create, so you can really quickly create, turn these into jobs, and then you can let other people run them, make sure everything's being done the same way, give people access to all sorts of environments. So that's the, the general idea. Yeah, you got it. Awesome. All right, thanks a lot, Mike. For everybody uh, at home, we'll uh, catch you next time. Have a good day.